Sure. Okay. Hi. Um, my name is Fred Parnes. I'm the director of the film A Million Miles Away, which is a documentary about uh, an exceptional musician named Peter Case. Uh, Peter has been out there doing his uh, thing, singing his songs and telling his stories for four decades now. Uh, he came from Buffalo, way up in the frozen north, and crossed the country when he was 17 and hasn't stopped moving ever since. Uh, it's a really moving story, a really human story. Uh, on top of this phenomenal musical talent, he's a master storyteller and one of the funniest dudes you'll ever meet. So uh, it's, uh, it's a fun time, it's a great musical story, and it's a, it's a real human story. And are you the producer, director? I'm the director and one of the three producers, along with uh, Jordan Krauss right over here, and Chris Seafried. And Jordan's also the co-editor, and Chris is the musical director. Oh boy, so you do a little bit of everything. We, it's a small mobile army, yes. and we, uh, we, yeah. we're fast on our feet, and uh, we, we get a lot done. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I'll speak with you next. Your first yes. and last Hi. name. And, um, uh, Jordan Krauss, producer, co-editor, a million miles away. And did it take a million days to do this? Uh, almost a thousand. A thousand? Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, I think did, roughly, yeah. Did you go, uh, Country? We yeah. did. We shot. Uh, we shot in Buffalo, uh, in a little suburb of Buffalo called Hamburg, New York, a uh, tiny little town. We shot in um, Joshua Tree here in California, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Um, we had one guy uh, go across the country in a moped, getting uh, traveling shots wow. for the film. Massachusetts. Uh, Massachusetts. We shot in Massachusetts. And New York City. And New York City, yes. My goodness, you did go all over. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you gotta, you gotta travel to get a good story. Yeah, yeah. I think you, uh, you want another shoot show time, so let's tell you about yeah, that. But, uh, just, but I need to speak with this gentleman first. Check with this man. He's all the right, music yeah. man. Okay, the music man. Yeah. We end with that. We end with that. We end with Sorry, that. man. Okay. Um, Chris Seafried, I produced the film with Jordan and Fred, and I was music supervisor. And with that body of music by Peter Case, was that a daunting task? Um, well, it was, it, it was, I don't know if it was daunting, it was, it was a lot of fun to get to know his, saw, his catalog intimately, and the thing that's really fascinating about him is he shows up culturally in a significant way at different times, like he starts with this punk band called The Nerves that had this hit, Hanging on the Telephone, you know that Blondie oh, song? Yeah, sure. Don't leave me high. So he starts with that, then he does a, a sort of an LA power pop band called The Plimsolls. They have a big hit called A Million Miles Away. Both tunes, you know, I knew, and then he's got this incredibly, um, really, really broad, beautiful solo career as well. So it was just a joy to get to know his music intimately and then do some interesting things with it in the film where we reimagined one of his songs as a gospel tune and brought in uh, um, a female, imagined it as a du gospel duet with a female artist called Lady Blackbird and a male artist called Chris Pierce do one of his tunes to sort of show the flexibility of him as a songwriter, that his songs can be covered in a lot of different musical ways. That was super interesting, and then also to to cut. We were shooting his um, concerts. We went to a bunch of different lo locations. Jordan said Buffalo. We a lot in L.A. as well. Um, but what we also decided to do was go into a recording studio and record him live, doing solo, but then also with a with a with a band, so that we had really good live performances of him that looked beautiful and sounded beautiful, and it was just really, really, really lovely. The whole experience was wonderful. And is he alive today still? He yes, is. He'll be here to tomorrow. Be here, yeah. Uh, and yeah, he's, he's a very flamboyant, funny guy, I heard. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, flamboyant? flamboyant yeah, I don't know flamboyant. if that's the word. I mean, not, he's not, a, yeah, not, he's very not funny. That's the first word that would come to mind, yeah. but oh. he's a really interesting guy. Great uh, story. He's teller. great. He's, a, uh, he's, doing, uh, he's performing after both of our screenings. Oh, that's great. Uh, which uh, tomorrow wow. at uh, 2.40 p.m. and Saturday at 20. Excellent. Where? What theaters? It is the uh, the Metro. Metro. Yeah, the Metro. Metro both times. Uh, right? Yes. And you guys will be there for Q&A? Yes. <laughs> Travels a long way. Yeah. <laughs> to say about Peter as a person, like, he's a real American original, and he's sort of uh, like the last kind of, the last generation of being influenced by the beats, so he's got sort of that New York ja jazz slang kind of way of speaking, and he's, he's, a, he's an original. He's, he's really a unique person. Well, 
Let's go find him and bring him back for the rest he ain't of the here. interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, 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 wish he, we wish he could have been he's, here. I think he's on the road, which is what he is on the movie, too. Yeah, he's recording and on the road, so he's a busy guy. But he'll be here performing after the show's tomorrow. And, you know, it's I was saying before that, you know, everybody's so uh, separated now uh, politically and socially and everything. Yeah. Music is the one thing that's, like, bringing everybody together yeah, right yeah. now, you know? You find like people on each end of the spectrum and they see each other at a, a dead concert or something. You know, so it's great to celebrate uh, an artist like Peter, who's just keeping this art form alive. He's one of the people who's still out there doing it, still still doing it the old-fashioned way. So thank you. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. And thank you for speaking with me. Absolutely. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed the conversation. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.